It's the most stupid thing what you can possibly do. Drop the new sensor. Okay guys, brief story. So we're gonna be replacing the one of the sensors, the temperature sensor, coolant, auxiliary temperature sensor, whatever. But uh, the thing is, a uh, car um, is some type of limp mode. Uh, it's not a limp mode. The Check this out. I'm stepping on the pedal all the way down. We have RPM raising, but the speed is not going up. Sport mode. So this is how it's supposed to be. The fan is not working. So this is another story. Uh, first when I started, I went to New York like a couple months ago and um, while being there, I like, you know, like pedal to the metal, of course here in New York. and. Uh, um, all of a sudden, I got the check engine light, uh, water pump, thermostat, blah blah blah. So I replaced it for a Chinese one. That's it. That's all. <laughs> all what I have to say. Anyway, that was a stupid mistake. I know. I understand. Um, but Chinese one, uh, the, the the water pump, I did not replace the thermostat. I replaced uh, the pump itself only. It triggers some stuff. It's locking some components. It basically lock all the messages, which can come up to the dash. If you if you have some type of failure with thermostat or the pump, it's not gonna show up on a dash, it's not gonna show up in a, a system. The pump just doing whatever it wants. Uh, it has only one speed, as uh, some of you know, the OEM uh, pump has variable speed, which is going, it can go from zero all the way to like 500 RPM, which is supposed to be, uh, if it's in great working condition, if you have some type of malfunction, gonna drop down to like 50% of uh, load capacity which is gonna be somewhere roughly like 250 RPM whatever so couple weeks later or couple months <laughs> one month later I finally got like problems with my AC not working or sometimes not blowing cold sometimes not um, some other troubles and uh, I'm deciding to replace the actual water pump for the OEM one I'm replacing that um, driving the car, same stuff, uh, start res doing research, some dude showing the thermostat might not work, uh, that's why I have the thermostat laying on there and I will show you how to test it out, which is another great thing, uh, I find out how to test the uh, thermostat, which is apparently was working and was not, it wasn't working like as I wanted to, so one of the two mechanisms were working, one wasn't, so I replaced that, I actually rebuilt the uh, thermostat so now it's working I test it even if it's not OEM parts it does work it does it does anyway <laughs> next step after that I had uh, check every single fuse in the car one in the trunk one is under the dash and for some reason I opened it up the case with the computer with the ECMs and stuff like that so um, we didn't we didn't need to go there that far but uh, I just opened it up and I didn't find anything in there so I was looking for the uh, auxiliary fan relay some people say the relay only doing the cutoff procedure so it nothing uh, to do with the fan starting fan or uh, shooting the fan with some sort of speed or stuff like that so I'm not sure but I did order the relay it's coming tomorrow today we're gonna be replacing only the sensor and I'm gonna show you what is going on with that but fan doesn't does not work at all before that I had fan running on a high speed didn't have communication with the pump itself the water pump uh, because it was a Chinese one and it didn't work so it might be a thermostat uh, I mean not a thermostat it might be the temperature sensor it just went bad it might be the relay which is went bad or it might be the fan itself which is I'm suspecting the actual fan uh, died on me. There is some way to check it out, but most likely you're not going to trigger it. I did try to trigger it through the input, it did not start. Most likely it's dead. But I did not hear relay or I did not hear any type of component like clicking or doing any type of action under the hood. So I'm hoping this is the relay and the people who were doing the BMW forums, they all around. Uh, the main two wires, which is the brown and red, going from the fan, go through the relay, which is, uh, computers say, start it, and relay, start the fan, 
and then variate the speed, whatever, the computer variate the speed. One thing in between of the fan and the computer, uh, EC, EC, some type of EC, DME, I think, uh, digital engine, um, electronic, or whatever, just don't ask me that, uh, I should have known that. <laughs> But uh, I think that's, that's what is going on. I checked the diagrams and kind of it should be like that. So uh, let's swap the sensor, temperature sensor, and tomorrow we're gonna do the relay. A relay is sitting right behind the fender, the right, the passenger side fender. So uh, either we're gonna need to remove the wheel guard, which is the relay gonna be exposed, and definitely we're gonna need to remove the wheel, but it's not a big of a deal. So as you probably seen already, I don't have that bar here. I already removed it because I had some problems with the solenoids, which is another topic. If you're replacing solenoids, make sure you did the you clear the actual memory afterward, and you did reset like the adjust the new solenoids. The Valvetronic motor have to do some type of adjustment every single time you disconnect, um, install or remove uh, solenoids, the Venus solenoids. It just like big of a thing because your RPM gonna be jumping engine not gonna be working as it was I don't know I, I've been trying to swap some some of them the new solenoid ends up sitting in there and uh, they doesn't do anything am I going to try to replace them one more time and uh, readjust the uh, Valtronic motor We'll see. The actual detection has to be reset. Whatever, we're gonna talk about it in a different video. It's too much talking and not a lot of action. Let's swap the sensor. If you have some type of the symptoms I just told you about the fan, it's not working or it's just on high speed or it's only on low speed, you have problems with your AC, it could be that sensor. So we have that connector going near the transmission radiator and right down here. It's on the edge of the oil filter housing, which is right here. I'm sorry, mama, but I purchased the actual Duralast electric radiator vehicle, blah, blah, blah. Okay, half an hour later. Oh, come on. It's soft. Does it start dripping already? Not sure. Ooh, this is the BMW. So this is the original part. And that one is nowhere near original one. So we have friction ring on a new one, uh, the copper one, and the old one doesn't have anything. So let's pop the beauty on and hope that will work. I think that should be more than enough. A little different direction but I think it's gonna be okay. Definitely that sensor doesn't really look nice or good. I'll try to clean it up a little bit. Because it's copper or aluminum or whatever, it has some type of oxidation. The fan did not start. Next stop going to be simply the relay. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next one. Thank you.